Well, yeah, I mean, I love the way Joe Root's batting. Um, I think he had a little bit of a, a, a crisis uh, trying to decide how he fits into the new era of England cricket where they expected to score at a rate and impose themselves on the opposition. And I think right now the way Joe Root is batting is exactly how he should always bat. And that is be uh, as correct as possible when he does play because he's technically so, so good. And then, of course, his, able, his ability to maneuver the ball, uh, put it into gaps, he's great against uh, pace, the similarly good against spin. So it's extremely difficult when you have that game of both attack and defense, touch and power, as Rude does, to stop him. And if you watch Rude bat, his tempo is just exceptional throughout an innings. He starts really solidly because of that technique. And every time there is a ball that he's looking to attack, he does it with so much control of the hands and the body movement. His intent is always to score runs. And as we saw yesterday, when he does that and he keeps batting simply to his plan, to his personal abilities, which are at such a high level, he scores as quickly as anyone. So he's, he's just exceptional. And I love watching him bat. And he's one of the main reasons why England continues to dominate test cricket. Yeah, now Kumar, of course, he went past Brian Lara. He's gone into the 12,000 run club, which is a club you, of course, know all about. And I think we can show people <laughs> uh, the list here. It's, you're, you're in pretty good company. There's some fantastic names on there. I noticed the highest average on there belong, belongs to some bloke called Sangakara. Uh, but yeah. he's about 300 behind you now. And of course, after this test match, there's Sri Lanka coming up. He could, he's going to be closing in on you. How do you feel about that? And, and where do you think he's going to end up on that list? Well, I think he's going to pass me at a canter. Uh, <laughs> uh, definitely in the next series. Um, um, and I think when you look at Joe Root's impact on the, on the English game and on the global game, he's, he's definitely right up there, well beyond most of the people still on, on that list. And I think if he continues to play, depending on what his ambition is, his hunger to really perform, and whether he enjoys it, he has a really good chance of overtaking almost every person on that list, which includes, in my view, Sachin Tendulkar. England play a good amount of test matches a year. Tendulkar right up there on 200. Um, and that's not too difficult for Joe Root to, 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 to achieve. Um, and if he does score at, the, at, at his current scoring rate, he will get to that 15,000 run mark as well. So it's all up to Joe Root. I'm just excited to just watch him because he's so calm. He is so technically um, efficient and proficient. Um, and he's just a fantastic all-round player.